This video will show how to replace your power supply on a duplicator from VinPower Digital. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a pair of needle nose pliers. First, make sure the system is not plugged into an electrical outlet and then remove the side panels from the casing. Look for the connection between the power supply and the case power switch button. Once you have found it, use the pliers to disconnect both connections. If the power cables are tied together with a zip tie, remove the zip tie to allow the cables to easily be disconnected. Now you want to disconnect the fan power connection, which is located in the back of the case. Use the pliers to remove the epoxy glue that was used as protection to keep the power and SATA port securely connected to the drives. These should be easy to remove. You only need to remove the glue from the power cables that are connected to the controller on top and each drive. You do not need to remove the glue from the SATA cables that connect the drives to the controller. Once you've removed the glue, you can disconnect the power cables from the top controller and each corresponding drive. At this point, you can unscrew the power supply from the casing and remove it. Take your replacement power supply, place it inside the casing where the previous one was. Secure the new power supply to the case by screwing it in exactly as the previous one was. Now reconnect the power supply to the case's power switch button by securely inserting each male port into its corresponding female connection. Make sure the connections are tight so they don't fall out. When looking at the cables for the new power supply, find the set of connections that has the Molex connector which you can identify because it has a small floppy connector at the end. Connect the Molex connection to the fan connector. Use the other strings of power connections to plug into each drive. Take the string of power connections that is plugged into the fan and use the free connection to plug into the controller's power port located above the drives. Once the controller, drives, fan, and power button have all been connected, you can then arrange for the cables to be securely inside the case, close the casing, and you're all set. The new power supply should be installed and you're ready to go.